Hi there. Today we have another exciting video on the latest Microsoft Teams updates. Our first update of the day is the new integration of LinkedIn within Teams. This is an easy way to view a person's LinkedIn profile directly in Teams. When you now go into any one-to-one -one chat, there will be a tab in the top taskbar where you can quickly see that person's profile with their experience, education, skills, and more. In order for you to sign into your own LinkedIn account, there will be a button that says sign in now. From here, all you need to do is follow the steps to add your credentials. Our second update is chat density. In Teams, you can now change your viewing preference whether you want to see more or less text at once. Teams lets you customize the density to, to how you want, and here is how. First, we want to go into the upper right corner of the screen, select settings, and then in general. Then under chat density, we can then select compact. Here we will then be able to see 50% more messages on the screen. The next update we want to talk about is the new Fluent Emojis. Microsoft announced the release of 1,800 brand new 3D emojis. These 3D emojis will be available to use in Teams chats, channels, and live meetings. Users will also be able to react in chats, channels, and video conferences with the new emojis. And some of them will have unique animations too. The next update is pinning and hiding your own video during Teams meetings. Now this new feature allows users to hide their own video on the meeting stage for themselves while others will still be able to see it and thus not disrupt the video experience during the call. Previously it was not possible to hide your own video on the stage which can contribute to meeting fatigue as we are consistently processing our own image during calls. To hide your video feed, Microsoft Teams users will need to go to the Me video menu, click on the ellipsis menu and then select hide for me option. Users will also be able to quickly hide or unhide their video feeds by clicking on the menu available next to their name on the meeting roster. Our last but not least update is muting notifications during meetings. Teams users will now be able to mute notifications in order to increase focus. To do this, we want to go into the ellipsis in the top right hand corner and straight into settings, then into notifications. You then want to edit the meetings and calls and click the toggle that says mute notifications during meetings and calls. And now, whenever you have a meeting, you will no longer have notifications as distractions. This concludes our latest Teams updates video. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks.